Okay, so this is trial number two using just acrylic paint mixed with enough Benjamin Moore paint extender to make it just a little bit thicker than milk. So that's just uh, white in this one, tan in this one, dark turquoise, burnt sienna, and black. Um, and then I've just mixed in just, it's about a, a two parts paint to one part paint extender approximately, and then just trying to figure out that milky consistency, the thick milky consistency. And then I'm going to use the isopropyl alcohol again at the end once I put all of the paint in my dirty cup. So starting from light to dark, just like last time. I just want to see, do this, if I do this exactly the same way twice, how different the paintings turn out or how similar they turn out. And so last time I used all of these same exact colors and not as much of these two colors. So I'm going to relayer these colors again, just like I did last time. Let's see how full my cup is. And hopefully I don't need to add I don't have quite as much as I had in, in the cup last time. So I'm going to do a few drops of this. A few more drops of black. And seeing as this is my favorite color, I'm going to a bit more of that. And you can see me now how I mix it with this Benjamin Moore paint extender. Just some about two to one. Give it a good stir. Kind of test it. Is it, ask myself, is it thicker than milk? Yes. Is it thicker than cream? Yes, it is. So I want to do a little bit thinner. That's all right, so I want to add that. Try to make this cup fuller. Yeah, that's plenty full enough right there. It's really bubbling around in there. Okay, so this is the point last time where I put a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on the top. It's kind of like that. And then I took a stir stick and I just Give it a quick stir. And then I did the dirty cup foot cup. I think I might have got some alcohol right on the canvas. It'll be interesting to see if that does anything. So I think I'm going to zoom in so that you can see. close what happens when I lift this up. So I was purposely letting it sit so that all the paint from the inside of the cup will have washed down onto the canvas. And here we go. And I want it to fill in naturally as much as it can without tipping. Tipping I find, tipping too soon can really mess it up. I like how the colors stay um, separated. You don't tip it too soon. So I see some cells appearing already and I haven't even torched yet so maybe I'll do that now and see what happens. Yeah, pop up. Pop up just like that. Not a lot of them, but not as many as I like. It's 
just want the canvas to be covered a bit more. I'm going to have to tip it. Okay, so the edges aren't being covered, so I think what I'll do is I'll just use my excess paint to do that so I don't have to tip it much. And I can save a lot of what's happening here. These colors are blending a little bit too much for my liking. Make a bit more difference. I'm going to do a little bit of a another technique that I haven't tried yet, and that is a swipe technique, where you just barely touch the canvas. Actually, I'm going to use a palette knife if I can find one. Try a business card. Can't find a palette knife right now. Because I don't like all these this dark color here. So I'm just very lightly taking some of that color off. Lots of paint underneath. Kind of looks like um, the northern lights up there. Well, I like the other painting a lot better than this one, but good to see that it doesn't work every time. It seems like I like about every fourth four that I do. Not every single one. Well, I might be saving this one after all. I like some of what's going on there. There's just so much paint on here. Help it go around the edge, just by giving it a little touch and getting the excess from the drips. So I'm letting it settle a bit more and see if any new veins or interesting things come up.
So I've used the um, dish soap method quite a lot more than the alcohol method because I found that the dish soap method didn't always work. But now I'm finding that the alcohol method doesn't always work either. So here it is, close up. There's some interesting combinations of color in there. It's a bit muddy, so we'll see when it dries if it's worth keeping. And there it is dry. It's kind of an interesting painting. I think I'll keep it. I have been having a lot of fun with this fluid acrylic painting technique. I hope you get a chance to try it. Have a look at my other videos. Maybe you'll be inspired, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, and hit the bell beside subscribe. Bye.